Good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Matthew chapter 5, beginning in verse 23, and it goes like this. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there remembers that thy brother has aught against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. I heard a story about this uh, new preacher. He just got voted in, and so as he was uh, talking to the former pastor, the old gentleman told him, he said, well, I'll tell you what, son, if you get in hot water, you get in the upper right hand desk drawer and I've got three envelopes in there numbered one, two, and three. Well, your first time you get in hot trouble, hot water, you pull that number one out and so on and so forth. And so sure enough, he, uh, it wasn't long and yep, he was in trouble. He got himself in trouble. So he, went to his office door and he closed it and he opened up his desk drawer and pulled out envelope number one. He opened it up carefully, pulled out the paper and it says, blame your predecessor. Regardless, just blame your predecessor. And so things sort of settled down and everything was going pretty smooth and boy, he, he got in hot water again. So he, uh, he went to his office and closed the door, opened up that desk drawer, pulled out number two. And he opened it up, pulled the paper out and said, blame it on the people. So that's exactly what he did. Well, that didn't go over too good. And I mean, things got stirred up big time. So he went back to his office and closed the door, opened up that desk drawer, pulled out number three envelope. He carefully opened it up. He pulled that paper out and it said, make three envelopes. <sighs> Folks, when we do wrong, it's our obligation to just fess up. Now, fess up, uh, that's a, that comes from a, uh, an old gun smoke, uh, TV show, Festus. He was always saying, well, just fess up. And that's what we need to do. We need to go ahead and be the man, the woman that God wants us to be and acknowledge our mistake. And uh, then things will work out for you. Don't blame others. No. The only person you can blame is the person that you see in the mirror in the morning. No one else. Ecclesiastes 12 and 14 tells us, For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or or whether it be evil. So, you know, just because you can get people's approval by telling a lie, you will fess up to God. He already knows your heart. He already knows your thoughts and, and mind. And yes, it will come back. It certainly will. So don't blame others for your faults. Instead, just admit it, what you've done wrong, and seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness. Restore your fellowship with your brothers and sisters. Well, I hope this encourages someone today. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.